Um, okay, good afternoon, everyone. And today I will be uh, I will presenting a paper titled uh, The Depth and Complexity of Traditional Painting versus AI Generated Art, a comparative analysis using Van Eyck's Arnold Fanny's portrait. And I am the presenter, Meng Yao Guo, one of the co-author, um, uh, one of the co of co-first author, and I work as an assistant professor at Shenzhen International School of Design, <coughs> Harvey Institute of Technology. The other authors are my co-first co author, Yuan Zhuang from Shandong University, and Feng Gao, who works at Peking University, and our corresponding author is Zi Gao. He's currently working at Hong Kong Polytechnic University. All right. Um, before my presentation, I would like to ask you one question. Can AI replicate the depth and complexity of traditional art? Because as an artist, I gained my master's degree at the University of Arts London in the major of MA Fine Arts. I currently use AI to help me find my inspirations, but I know that it cannot replace all my works because the depth and the complexity of my artwork <coughs> my human experience. So especially those experiences of making mistakes in my work. So I would like to hear your answers. If um, I will, I will last my uh, contact information later in this slide. Okay. Um. Let's move back to our paper. We actually reviewed the earlier exploration of AI in contemporary art. It can be traced to the works of Harold Cohen who utilizes AI to create autonomous art making systems as early as the 1970s. He proposed that art through think big data and will add a massive information collection and will phenomenon with aesthetics and cognitive dimensions. And in recent years, the application of AI in art has exploded as well. Artists leverage AI's capabilities to create many new forms of interactive and generative art, such as a well-known artist called Rifik Arnold. He uses data and AI to create immersive <laughs> art installations. In another significant moment I must address here is the AI artworks auction. The work is called Portrait of Edmond Bellamy, created by the French art collective called the Obvious. This print is actually known for being sold for $432,500 US dollars during the Christie's auction. So all of these examples demonstrate that the collaboration between AI and art is currently a major and and emerging reality reshaping our art world. However, in this case, <laughs> the aim to argue that AI cannot replicate the depths and complexity of human art. To prove this, we take Arnold Fanny, painted by Jan van Eyck, as an example to explore this question. <laughs> As we all know, the Pike pioneers early Netherlandish painting and was celebrated for enhancing painting methodologies and inventing oil paints. His style rooted in Gothic art covered, uh, covered, its covered it in many aspects, offering a natural, uh, naturalistic and realistic perspective on the world. So, so we consider this portrait that's the most representative of the depth and complexity that an artwork has owned. For example, uh, the geometry in this painting, the mirror used in this work, is te technical mastery, as well as the application of orthogonal uh, on, 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 on projection. Uh, actually, uh, Martin proposed that when I skinned expert type in geometry and optics through the mathematical advancement of Al Hazin, an 11th central Arab mathematician, astronomer, 
after re-evaluating the influence of cloning the elder on one eye. In this painting, you might notice the tiny thing from Chris Passion in the convex mirror frame. It symbolizes God's promises of salvation for the figures reflected in the mirror. The mirror itself capture, uh, captures and uh, differentiates variety textures and appearances especially those related to Christie's life on the husband's side of the painting. It might also symbolize God's, <coughs> sorry, all seeing eyes witnessing the martial vows and reflecting the Virgin Mary's purity. Interestingly, uh, this mirror also showed two figures at the entrance, one of whom might be the painter himself. This reflection validates the marriage's legal legality, adding another layers of meaning to this complex work. And as for the tackling of mastery, Van Eyck is evident in using thin layers of semi-transparent oil paint to produce a pen painting ridge in, in deep tones and brilliant hues, highlighting the Arnold Fanny's riches through material things. And regarding the application of orthogonal projection, mathematician Carl Dallman, James M. Collier, and American art historian James Alkins gave their own arguments on this work to prove that this painting has its own projection method. And you can see all these information here in my slide. <coughs> And another notable contribution made by Joe Stemmel. Through his 3D re reconstruction, he proposed that Van Eyck's device was even more precious than Da Vinci's perspectival device. In Van Eyck's setup, the glass panel could move freely within this plane. This creates a configuration with multiple eyepieces evenly distributed along an inclined X. This clever arrangement allowed Van Eyck to trace the partial contour of natural objects both through the each eyepieces and then assemble them into a complex image, avoiding twisting at edges of the drawings. Simon suggested that Van Eyck's multi multi-perspectival device likely involved from earlier single viewfinder device he believed that Van Eyck would have alternated between closing his left and right eyes, providing two observation models for his device. <clears throat> this remarkable discovery highlights Van Eyck's mastery of geometric knowledge and his advanced understanding of image representation in geometry. And <laughs> demonstration illustration where we can see the differences here. Okay. However, um, as in our paper, AI is still in its liminal state as a new medium, because AI art still has limitation compared to human created art. For example, this one. In this generation of Kandinsky's art projects, and, uh, projects, the authors present a program experiment to automatically generate art in Kandinsky's style during his Bauhaus year. Here I show a painting from Kandinsky. The authors go into detail about the generation process and discuss sample images dealt after four of Kandinsky's painting. And here I put a picture of this four painting. This AI generated paintings analyzes the of Kandinsky's colors, shapes, and other formal elements, creating works that look similar like Kandinsky's artwork. But actually, it is important to note that Kandinsky never used bright ruby reds or bright purples in his entire career. Even the yellows in his paintings don't produce a bright yellow, 
that exceed the canvas color because of transparent properties of the pigment combined with the initial color of the canvas. This is true as well in iconic style, it often misses the nuanced details of an art, artist artworks. Then we figure out uh, the full limitation of AI, lack of intentionality, absence of historical and cultural context, creativity and originality, as well as emotion depth. The first one, the AI lacks the understanding, intention, and creative vision behind this cre creation. The illusion created in this artwork doesn't result from the AI's creative vision. For the second one, AI cannot understand or reflect such contexts as in the Arnold Finley's portrait. For the for third one, AI's artistic output heavily depends on its training data, lacks the personal experiences insight, experiences insight and conscious artistic choice that drive human creativity. And for the last one, AI lacks subjective experience and emotions, making it challenging for audiences to connect emotionally with AI-generated content, even if they appreciate its, its aesthetic or technical quality. And, and for the next part, so let's reveal the gap between them. That arts will come to life through a complex timeline that evolves as they are created. <coughs> The constantly adapt to changes in light and time throughout the day, tweaking the scene they are cra crafting. They are working with a massive, unpredictable database that changes day by day. This kind of database is a world around them, a place that never stops changing, where light, color, shape, and textures are constantly in flux. Artists navigate their creative journey in this ever-changing environment. They must create and manage their scene within this dynamic landscape, which demands continue, uh, continuous adjustment and re uh, repetition as a changing but integral part of making art. Unlike AI, artists need a lot of patience and perseverance to bring their vision to life. As natural light and reflection on objects constantly change, artists have to adapt to those shifts. Just as the world changes, so does the artist's perception and interpretation, inter interpretation, making creating art a living, breathe attempt. And in Van Eyck's masterpiece, this scene isn't just a photograph or a perfect optical reproduction of reality. The witness moment you see in a, is a purposeful selection meticul meticulously crafted by the artist from a series of time points. The artist uses the light to create a scene of depth and dimensionality, illuminating the couple and the objects in the room, creating highlights and casting shadow enhanced realism. The natural light is imagined as coming from the window, and the artist has conceived this light as a point source. We know that the sun's tra uh, tra trajectory changes that sunlight streams through the window during the morning, midday, and late afternoon. So the artist must adjust his optical eye to his more profound vision of constructed and imagined scene. This helped him present the dynamic interplay of light and shadow as accurately as possible. When the human artists take uh, mm -hmm. artistic liberty, they deviate from realis realism of convention to achieve a particular effort, effect or convey a specific message. <coughs> it's this artist freedom that adds a unique touch to this work. And when it comes to the formal elements in a painting, um, especially the actual texture and the real texture, AI faces significant changes as well. 
AI cannot truly understand and recreate the subtle dynamic interplay of light, as I said before, and textures that give a piece of art its unique character. This limitation is clear when we look at intricacy intricate texture in oil paints and the visual texture in Arnold Fenn's portrait. From the richly depicted fabric to the reflective surfaces, the final visual effect a complex interplay of actual and visual texture. This texture, detail, uh, this texture details are important to the painting's lifelike quality and emotional renaissance, elements that AI cannot fully replicate. So we find that AI has technical limitations. It doesn't have human experience. AI can replicate patterns and style, but cannot understand or convey the human experience as a human artist can. According to Rong Chen and Yusvani Terry, AI can create an art which matches inadvertently reduce <clears throat> the perceived value of art and diminish mm -hmm. the artist society's, uh, society's status. Chen believes that there are enough human artists and AI shouldn't need to create art. And Terry considers that since of, uh, consider that sense of interplay or is the ability to recreate in the moment something AI cannot reproduce. And the previous art historian have led the foundation for why artwork cannot be replicated as well. As well. Carl Austin pointed out that the vehicle of the work of art is a kind of thing that has experienced time and remains unchanged when perceived and understood by the outside world, enable the same organizations of material to enter the experiences of different persons at different times. In contrast, AI-generated art doesn't have physical properties that could be treated as unchanging qualities. According to the series of Alistair Dental, a prominent art critic and philosopher, <coughs> that the gist of age could be understood through its finity materials manifestations, including artwork. This concept suggests an interrelation between physical <laughs> objects and the large, larger social culture's context within, uh, within which they exist. Since AI is a machine learning model programmed by humans, it doesn't possess personal experience, emotions, or intentions in the human sense. Therefore, the definition and the boundary of AI in the art world may not have undergone such a significant changes. So we, <coughs> uh, so we prove that AI couldn't truly possess artistic um, intentions. It doesn't have self-awareness, emotions of experiences, and therefore cannot have a genius artistic intention like a human artist. The spread of art, the value of artistic memory, artistic style, and the formal elements of physical works are indeed driven by human processes. While AI can produce art, it doesn't contribute to the development of art history as humans do. In the end, the future of AI arts is not replacing art, but complementing it. AI can be treated as a unique tools that can assist artists in exploring new creative possibilities without diminishing the value of traditional art making methods. Just as the invention of photography didn't replace painting, but rather expanded the boundary of visual art. And for the generation may regard today's AI generated art as the minor footnotes in art history with the art world ultimately rejecting AI as a legal creative force and maintaining the importance of human artistic and the unique ability to convey emotion, tell stories, and reflect on human conditions. In conclusion, 
Also, AI brings our time capabilities in data processing, pattern recognition, and production speed. speed. Traditional art offer an irreplaceable depth of emotion, complexity, and human connection. Okay, thanks for your listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me via WeChat or email. Well,